It is my pleasure to welcome Joe Croyle to the program today. He's got an upcoming show, and it's a tribute show, and it's a tribute to Joe Croyle. That's, that's me. <laughs> Just like I, Al Franken said, me, Joe Croyle. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about this show. First of all, tell me why you decided to do a tribute show to your, to your I own knew, work. I knew you were going to ask me that. Um, the reason why is because I see a lot of tribute shows here in Palm Springs. And they're all very good, you know, and it's all about somebody else. And so I figured I have enough credits uh, in my life that I just decided to do a tribute show to myself. Well, you're, you're familiar with the material. Yes. So, oh, sure. Yeah. I, I, and like nobody's going to do a better Joe Croyle than than perhaps you. Nobody can, <laughs> unless I had a twin and he couldn't even do it. Not, no, absolutely. <laughs> uh, this is coming up uh, Sunday at the uh, Arthur Newman Theater, the Jocelyn Center. It is twenty bucks cash at the door. That's right. It's got to be cash at the door. Three o'clock. Part of the cabaret series that they've been doing. Uh, but you play other gigs around town. But tell me a little bit about the show you put together for Sunday. Well, um, I've worked with a lot of really famous people, but before I did that. I decided to do piano bar work in Los Angeles. And so I did a lot of piano bar and I got to the point where people noticed me and they started hiring me for for bigger event, bigger parties, even though it was still me, <laughs> Joe Croyle. <laughs> uh, I got hired to do all kinds of things and um, I just loved it so much. And then I got, then I started working in Las Vegas and I started working with some other people like Ann Margaret and, uh, you know, Peter Marshall, Cass Elliott, Sammy Davis, Jerry Lewis, that, those kind of people. And people you know? forget, you, know, you mentioned Peter Marshall, and he's been on the show, yes. and he's a delight, yeah. but he's, he's a great. terrific singer. I know. Well, his, I think his half-brother was yeah, uh, uh, Dick Ames. Dick Ames, yeah. Yeah, and Peter sounds like Dick, really much. He really sounds like him, and it was nice to be in his group. His, I had a, he had a group called the Chapter Five. <laughs> And, and I was one of the five. Oh. And, and we worked together for like four years. So it was a lot of fun. Tell me where else you play here in town if people want to come out and see you. I have a uh, ongoing job, uh, well, piano bar uh, at uh, Woodhaven Country Club, second and fourth Wednesdays of every month. And uh, I'm working at Eddie V's, as a matter of fact, this coming Saturday. So they can check me out there. I work at Eddie V's on occasion, like, that sort of thing. So. Piano bar is my favorite form of entertainment. Yeah, you well, never know who's going to wander in. You just It's you, always fun, and you get you, some great music, and it's always live entertainment. Right. Well, I, I tell some stories uh, about that, about people walking up to me and, and doing a quest. Some of them are quite funny. I'm going to save that for the show. Though. All right. <laughs> you can check it out again. It's part of the Sunday Cabaret Series. It's coming up this Sunday, the 29th, 3 o'clock at the Arthur Newman Theater. That's at the Jocelyn Center. And again, I, I want to remind you. Yeah. Cash at the door. It's 20 bucks. So make sure you get your $20 bill. That's right. And uh, come out and see a tribute to Joe Croyle, performed by Joe Croyle. Nobody's better at it than he is. So thanks for coming on the program. Thanks, Patrick. Great to see you. Appreciate it. Nice seeing you.